better time. Certainly going after Philip de Freitas. In the air and away from Angus Fraser. Two boundaries from two balls. Ian Jones starting to hit his stride. He's such an experienced player, Dean Jones. He can easily upset an inexperienced young bowler like Martin Bicknell. He looks to get on the front foot, but then he, when, it's, when it's dropped just slightly short, he rocks back quickly. Eddie Hemmings, who I thought was the best bowler the other evening. Yeah. That's a really good shot. Hemmings did nothing wrong there, but uh, Jones very quickly gave himself some room for the stroke, anticipating that it might have been round about middle and off. Cut it... I would say off the stumps and played it quite well. No protection outside the circle on the offside. Good shot. Dean Jones always looking to make room. Oh, he smashed that one. That will, that'll end up in Coco's. It's gone miles. It's a big six. Huge six there from Dean Jones. He's decided to let loose. And he's smashed it down towards that sign down there. And didn't he enjoy that? Yes, that uh, cleared the dog track as well as the uh, fence. And landed way back in the crowd. Down the wheel he goes again, that's straight, it's going to be into the fence on one bounce. One bounce into the fence, very straight and very flat. A 50 for Dean Jones, there is a rope uh, down there under the sideboard. 101, the partnership between Marsh and Jones. Hit that in the air as well and uh, it's going to go to the fence too. So Jones really is blasting himself around this ground. It's brute force on occasions. Hemmings won't know what to do in a second. Down the wicket he came there and have a look at that white ball fly. Hearns gets that through the gap. That's for beautifully placed. He was stretching to get to it, but it right off the middle of the bat and raced away for four. A little bit of Dean Jones genius here. Pitching well outside the off stump. We wouldn't have that shot recommended in the coaching manual. Well, this is going to uh, be a severe test for the youngster, Martin Bicknell. Yeah. The other ones, uh, you need to have stick. And to add insult to injury, he's gone back for second. And yet the ball was gathered I reckon just inside the 30-yard circle, that is extraordinary running between the wickets. Well, a big slush at this by Jones, the keeper just about gets it. But he's so quick and alert and alive. Look at him, he's running and scampering. and That's what makes him such a dominant personality. There's always something happening. Magnificent. There's a man at deep mid-wicket straight onto the dog track well that's an absolutely terrific shot I know he's played some good shots today and he's in good form but uh, he's so quick onto anything short he rocks back and he's hit that with terrific power into the crowd that's a one hander and over the man at uh, fine leg and I'm not too sure why he was in there rather than being back 15 yards on the boundary Well, Martin Bicknell again straying down the leg side. Trying to ball a foolish Yorker, but it's going down the leg side and gives Jones a free hit. Over the fielder, and I think the fielder's inside, 10 yards inside the boundary because they're so concerned with the quick running of Dean Jones that he's getting twos all the time. They're trying to keep him away from the strike, but it doesn't matter where they put the fielders if the bowler does not bowl the ball in the right spot, which has got to be Yorkers on middle stump. 
The pressure is getting to them out there on the field now. I'm not surprised, mind you. They've withstood it uh, to a large extent. We're now into the 45th over. It's not surprising there'll be a fumble or two. He's made 122 from 125 balls. Oh, just reach out and catch it, Jeffrey. What a magnificent hit. And I can tell you something else about that. With that six, Dean Jones is batting a thousand in this innings. A magnificent blow. He's such a clean striker of the ball, that's the thing. He, he hits it so cleanly with a full flowing back lift and right through the ball. Well, he's just tearing Martin Bicknell apart. He really doesn't know where to bowl. Well, he smashed that one away too. That's six to a real flat six. A magnificent shot from Dean Jones. Oh, I tell you what, the man's on fire. He'll be batting a thousand before he can blink an eyelid. He'll be three or four of them looking down the barrel of a thousand, ten thousand dollars each. It was a crowd killer job, that one. It went in at the rate of knots. The guy's uh, got the ball in his hand. I don't know if he actually caught it. I would doubt very much that he caught it. He was lucky he didn't catch it in the teeth. Uh, he got it in a hurry, so he didn't do badly. Well, this is out. Got to be out. Yes, at last. He's got him. He's mishit one for a change, and that's gone straight to mid-wicket. Tuckfield's taken the catch, and Dean Jones will get a standing ovation from this packed ground here at the Gabba. What a magnificent spectacle it was. A magnificent innings. There will be those that will be reminded from time to time that he was probably out when he had three. But from that moment on, he has played superb.